She's accused of stealing a million dollars from her company, and she says it was all to support her kid. Henry Rossoff is live in the newsroom to explain how this woman stole so much and why her excuse doesn't exactly hold up for some people. I mean, this woman was ideally positioned to allegedly rip off her company, but investigators followed the money through multiple names, multiple banks, and even gambling debts. As we approach a home on Milwaukee's north side, a man stops us and tells us not to get any closer. What's that? I'm sorry. No comment. Are you Jacqueline's husband? In this relatively modest home lives a woman charged with a decadent crime. 44 year old Jacqueline Fox is charged with stealing about a million dollars from United Milwaukee Scrap during the last six years. Fox worked as a human resources manager for the company. She allegedly kept a former employee on United's payroll in name only. She then allegedly used his name and a guarantee bank account she set up to steal. $865,000 in payroll checks. Authorities say she used the names of six other former employees to take about 95,000 more. Finally, Fox allegedly created checks payable to herself for an extra $13,000. The whole scheme was uncovered when another human resources employee at United Scrap noticed a check addressed to someone he recognized as no longer working for the company. According to the criminal complaint, Fox told investigators she needed the money because she was kicked out of her house by her husband and had to care for three children. But according to bank records, she withdrew about $91,000 from banks in and around Potawatomi Casino ATMs during the last six years. I mean, it, it is surprising. Fox's neighbor, Hugh Jones, says for all the money she allegedly stole, it doesn't show in the way Fox and her family lives. Did you notice jewelry or fancy new lawnmower or anything like that? No, I never seen anything I like get. In all, Fox faces six theft by fraud charges and could be looking at upwards of 60 years in prison. Live in the newsroom, Henry Rossoff, Fox 6 News. Henry, thank you.